Hello, this is Rachel from 7 and All, and today I'm going to be giving you a look inside the Preschool Spanish Morning Binder from Yamitas Spanish. Right here. And I do want to mention that Yamitas gifted this to me so that I could make a video and show it to all of you. I am so excited to be adding this to my preschool routine with my three-year-old. I think he's really at a perfect stage where he's going to get a lot from this right now. And we have used a morning binder already in the past, but it wasn't specifically one that's designed for Spanish. So this will make it easier to incorporate Spanish into learning these fundamental ideas. So I'm going to begin by showing you the set of flashcards, but first I do want to mention I do have an affiliate link for Yamita Spanish and an affiliate link for this in my description and I also have a 10% off code. So when you use my seven and all discount code, you can get 10% off of the price. This is available in a digital version as well as this physical version. This is the physical printed version that you get when you order from Yamitas, but you can order also get just the digital printable. And both the digital and the physical versions include alphabet flashcards that have just cute little drawings of animals on them for all the letters of the alphabet, and they also include some of the digraphs, or um, that, that you'll also have the, if a sound, if a letter has two sounds, you'll have two cards for that letter. So that's really nice that it's not just the basic alphabet, but helps us to gently explore some of these other concepts in um, Spanish phonics right here. Uh, now, always with flashcards, I really recommend get creative. Flashcards can be an amazing learning tool. If you watch my channel, you know that we use flashcards a lot and we sometimes use them in pretty creative ways. I have a older video with five flashcard games that are great for preschoolers that I will link um, down below and I very much <laughs> expect to be using some of those games with these cards with my three-year-old. So you have your alphabet flashcards that you can use to drill and practice and play hide and seek, scavenger hunt, slap the card. We can also just go through and learn the vocabulary on here. Now, because these are all animals and because some letters don't just don't come at the beginning of that many words, like the famous W, which you know is not that native to Spanish spelling, you will have some unusual animals in there. Um, but those are the flashcards. Then here's the binder. Now, if you get the physical binder, it does come with this whole custom three ring binder here. But if you order digital, you will just get the printables. You'll get the printable flashcards and all the printables that go in the binder, but obviously not the binder itself and not these tabs, if you can see. We have canciones, actividades diarias, and unidades. So we start off with, you get a couple of pages here which if you put these in page protectors, you could use these for tracing pages or just point and find type of pages, point and find. You could sing the alphabet with these pages. And we also get a little bit of a writing guide here, but that's just the intro. Then we have our song section. And there's a song section because there is an element of this which includes online recordings or um, audio recordings and you access this through their course portal. You can put the app on your phone. It typically runs through SoundCloud and all of their songs are just songs based on these foundational concepts that are being taught in the binder. So we have the alphabet, we have counting, we have the days of the week, the months of the year, um, weather, colors, and shapes. So those are, there's just seven songs. How I envision using this is I'd probably just start at the first one and once I feel like, okay, we sing that, we can sing that one pretty well, we've got that one mastered, move on to the second and not really have a certain time frame for those. Then we get to the daily activities, actividades diarias. And you will notice everything is bilingual, pretty much everything is bilingual. They have, they have a lot of support for you here. So they give you the structure. So this is designed definitely to hold your hand if you aren't super familiar with Spanish yourself. 
which can make it a little bit more comfortable. I know for those of us who aren't native speakers, it can make it a little bit more comfortable if you're not super confident in your own Spanish. But it's also, I mean, this is all Spanish right here. So for those of us raising bilingual kids, this is jumping them right in. It's got the days of the week. We have the months of the year, the seasons, we have the weather, but they're also giving us the phrases for the weather, which is nice because sometimes I can still <laughs> get mixed up a little bit of, okay, wait, wait, wait. Is it hace or I or esta? So we can match up our weather phrases. Hace calor. Um, hay viento. Está soleado. So we can get our phrases down, practice those. Then this is a page that you will personalize. You can add their photo. You can write down their name for them here. And um, in using morning binders in the past, I like to write it very clearly so that they can trace over it with a marker. They'll mark how old they are and we can, you can write where they live. You could choose country or city or state or city state, however you want to do it, whatever is most appropriate for your child. And then there's a me siento page with lots of different emotions and expressions here. In fact, quite a few. <laughs> um, so that's our just quick daily activities. So this is something you'd come back to day after day to do calendar work, name as they are practicing their name and where they live. Then this is the part that will change from week to week. And there are 26 units. So it is very much structured around the letters of the alphabet, but it includes more than just the letters as you're going to see. So in our first unit, we have O de Oso. And we do have an audio track. That's always the sound. That little sound symbol shows us that there's an audio track. So you get Oso, Oso, O, O, O. You see where it is in the alphabet. They can trace with their finger, count the syllables, find the letter O. Then we get a couple of vocabulary words for the letter O here, ones that start with the letter O. Then we color pictures that begin with the letter O. So this is going to assume, the answer isn't on the page, this is going to assume that you know that perro does not start with O. But that's fairly basic. Uh, so this this, I say it gives you a lot of help if you're not super confident in Spanish, but there might be the occasional thing that it is helpful to know um, if you do know some Spanish already. Then we are working on a shape in this unit, círculo. So how many sides does it have? Trace the circles. So if we're working on exposing our child to as much Spanish as possible, we get to um, have the instructions for each activity in Spanish right on the page, which is definitely something I find helpful. Then in the same unit, we work on number one. And how I have used morning binders in the past is the letter, the number, the shape that we're working on in that unit or in that week. I just do these pages, same pages again and again throughout that week. I don't do it only one time. And I have found that with my older son to be incredibly beneficial to be doing the same pages repeatedly. So how I plan to use this is I'll put all the daily activity pages in page protectors. And then I'm just planning to put the individual pages for unit one in page protectors. And we'll use those throughout the week. And then I'll move those page protectors over to unit two next time. That way I don't have to use quite so many page protectors, but I can still make sure that this is usable and reusable. So next we have A de Abeja Amarillo. That's kind of fun that they did the color on the same time that we're learning A. The color amarillo, we have numero dos. We have a couple of activities, color two circles. We're just reinforcing these ideas. So you can see that they're starting with vowels here. And then in this unit, they give us a little review page. So we get to review, okay, toca ciclo amarillo, right there. Then we're listening for the sound and choosing which. This could look a little bit intimidating, but remember, we're only working with three letters here, so they, they don't have to be remembering a whole bunch of letters. It's just three. So you'll see, it, there's a lot of consistency in the exercises, but there also is some variety. I think it's a nice blend. So you'll see, it stays consistent. We kind of alternate between colors and shapes in the introductions. Then I'll give you a little bit look further in as we're starting to get 
Let's see. And to where, okay, we've been doing this for a while. We get a little bit more complex here at De De Delphine. Now here is where we start getting something a little bit different. We get some syllabus where we can just say the syllabus or if your child's ready, you can have them trace the syllabus. Da, de, di, do, du. And then you're matching syllabus to the picture that it starts with. And here you can complete what comes, what's the beginning of each word, dama and delfin. Right there. So it does get more complex as you go through the year. You'll see that same syllaba page again over here. So I'm excited to be using this with my three-year-old throughout his preschool year. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of great mastery happening through the repetition, the opportunity to repeat and repeat and repeat. And I'm not a stickler like, oh, we'll do every single page every day, but just kind of generally and seeing, okay, which which of these pages does he need more repetition on? Which is he gonna know right off the top of his head? Like he's probably not gonna need as much repetition on recognizing Rojo, but tracing it would probably be good practice. And <laughs> so these are just some ideas on how to use it and my plan for using it. I do wanna mention, this is the type of marker that I use. I don't use any like special kids marker. This is totally a teacher a whiteboard marker, typical ones, but they tend to be really reliable. They work. So that's what I use for morning binders. I'm really excited to use this and I'm glad I got to share it with you today. All right, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.